More than a million people are living with AIDS in America right now. What's worse is that 50,000 new infections are occurring each year. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Tyler Termeer. He is the executive director of Cascade AIDS Project. Thank you for being with us, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Um, first of all, a little bit about Cascades. Cascade AIDS Project. Yeah, Cascade AIDS Project is the oldest and largest HIV community-based organization serving Oregon and Southwest Washington. And we're providing everything from support services for people who are living with HIV, assisting them with access to care and housing, as well as providing education and HIV prevention services throughout the state. The demographic that you seem to help would be a, of a lower income. Right, so a lot of the federal streams of funding that exist now to help support people who are living with HIV have income requirements. And so we work with those individuals who need access to care, don't have, uh, have not previously had access to insurance. And so through the federal Ryan White program, through housing opportunities of people with AIDS and other foundation dollars, we are supporting people to facilitate stable housing opportunities mm -hmm. and opportunities to facilitate them to the health care uh, options that will enable them to live long and manage lives with the virus. Is the Affordable Health Care Act affordable when uh, coming from the perspective of someone who needs to buy drugs, who needs to get care? I think that's a tricky question. So the Affordable Care Act has changed the landscape uh, incredibly for people with chronic illness. People living with HIV previously, uh, because of the restrictions in place for those who had a pre-existing condition, were unable to gain access to health care in ways that um, someone of the general population might. So yes, it has been helpful in that people have more options, but because of the ability of each insurance company to uh, network with their clientele and create their own formulary of medications, uh, HIV medications for many pharmaceutical companies or from many pharmaceutical companies have been placed on specialty tiers, making them much more expensive mm -hmm. for individuals. Uh, a normal HIV medication could cost uh, without insurance upwards of two to three thousand dollars a month and as a specialty medication the out-of-pocket costs are still really not something that a low-income uh, client could afford. Now during the 1980s there was such a push to try to destigmatize AIDS and, and these are people who are living next door and done a great job. Too good a job maybe since it's no longer in the forefront? I think the face of, of HIV has changed um, a lot over time. Uh, what was once a death sentence for clients early in the epidemic is now a long-term managed chronic illness. And we've done a lot of work over the last three decades to reduce the fear and the stigma that is associated with the disease. But by doing so, um, and now um, because HIV is not a part of the daily uh, conversation, we don't see uh, people dying uh, around us in the same levels that we used to, I think that there's some silence and some complacency that has set into the general population about the disease. And it's really the job of organizations like Cascade AIDS Project and our community partners to keep, um, to keep HIV on the forefront. 50,000 new infections a year, what is not being done well enough? I think we need to address the all of the social determinants that are fueling the epidemic in addition to ensuring that clients have the access to the care that they need in an affordable way. So it's not just about facilitating access to care, but it's also about addressing poverty and homelessness and stabilization for our clients. All right, Tyler Tremere, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. We wanna thank you for being here as well. We're at the Gresham Historic Museum. Thanks to the crew here, and we thank you for watching. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.